how to remember the cranial nerves. We're going to use the mnemonic OOO, Turkey Tours, a fantastic vacation, good value and historic. OOO, an all factory, optic and oculomotor. Turkey's Tours, trochlear and trigerminal. A fantastic vacation, abducing facial and vestibular cochlear. Good value is glossopharyngeal and vagus, and historic is accessory and hypoglossal. The cranial nerves can be either sensory, motor, or both. To remember this, we're going to use the mnemonic shrimp salad, mm -mm. but my bestie says beef burgers. Mm -mm. Where all the S words stand for sensory, all the M words are for motor, and B is for both. Moving on to the foramen of the cranial nerves pass through. A foramen is an opening that allows the passage of structures from one region to another. The skull base contains numerous foramina that transmit cranial nerves, blood vessels, and other structures. They are known as the cranial foramina. The cribriform foramina transmits the olfactory nerve. Optic canal and foramina transmit octic nerve. The superior orbital fissure that supports the trochlear nerve, abducens, superior and inferior division of the oculomotor nerve, which is cranial nerve 3, the lacrimal and frontal branch of the ophthalmic nerve, which is the first division of trigeminal nerve. Foramen rotundum contains the maxillary nerve, which is the second division of the trigeminal nerve. Foramen ovale transmits the mandibular nerve, which is the third division of the trigeminal nerve. The internal acoustic meatus transmits the facial nerve and the vestibular cochlear nerve. The jugular foramen transports the glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus, and accessory nerve. The hypoglossal canal transports the hypoglossal nerve. Branches of the trigeminal nerve are ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular. Each branch corresponds to the area that it innervates. The ophthalmic is the ophthalmic region in eyes, maxillary is a maxillary bone, and the mandibular is a mandibular bone. If you can't remember it that way, you can always use the mnemonic MOM maxillary, overall thalmic, and anthromandibular. Moving on to the branches of facial nerve. First, let's look at a few anatomical features. This area over here, which is your temple. Right here is your zygomatic bone. Around your lips is the buccinator muscle. This is your lower jaw, or the mandible, and this area in the neck, the cervical area. Now if you place your hand on your face with your thumb against your temple and your pinky on your neck, this will represent the pathway of the facial nerve branches. So your thumb up here pressed against your temple is your temporal branch. Your ring index finger pressed against your zygomatic bone or the zygomatic process will be your zygomatic branch. Your middle finger very close to your upper lip will be your buccal branch. Your ring finger will be placed around the mandible, so that will be your marginal mandibular branch. And your pinky will be on your neck, which will be your cervical branch. This is an easy way to remember the pathway and the branches of the facial nerve. But if you find that still difficult, you can always use the mnemonic, the zombies broke my car. <laughs> 